Hello everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Code. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on how to draw these cute little business size sketches of American wildflowers. And uh, since then, I've had some encouraging words to continue doing some sketching, some little quickie sketches on, on scraps. And uh, so today I thought we'd do some mushrooms. I'm gonna use my graphic, uh, excuse me, line marker 0 0.3, so it's a pretty fine, fine nib there, it's very small. Uh, you can go bigger, which would draw a little faster, but I like the fine lines that this uh, thin markers create. Uh, I'm gonna keep using my little business cards. Uh, in the last video I showed you, I had um, got these business cards for three dollars four dollars at a uh, second hand shop and i have hundreds of them so i want to use them up and i really love the size of them i think they make great little tags and pockets tuck spots they get glued to bigger pages they're really versatile and i really like using them so without further ado let's do some sketching so grab yourself your pen your paper uh, your pencil, whatever it is you want to work with, and uh, I'll walk you through how I do some of these mushrooms. Okay, so I'm going to pull you down. I'm sorry if I make you a little dizzy, but I've got to move my camera here, which is my cell phone. <laughs> and uh, we'll start with this one, shall we? Make sure I'm in frame. Hopefully the shadow situation is a little bit better. Um, I'm still working on that, but... Uh, I think uh, the shadow's casted back here, so we should be okay. All right, so we're going to start with a loose sketch. So did I tell you the marker I'm using? Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm just going to do a semi-frowny face. So these are my technical drawing terms. <laughs> nothing nothing serious here. So I'm just going to guide you with some shapes at the top end of the paper. And then I'm going to do a wiggly line coming down. Again, so you see I'm sketching. I'm not committing to a solid line. I'm, I'm staying nice and loose. I'm also holding my pencil way back here. I'm not into the detail yet. I want to stay loose, so I'm holding it further back on the pen. So we've got this piece built now. So now we have to indicate the center of the mushroom. So we're going to come down the middle, and I'm going to find a line just a little bit lower than this line here. So the lower you go, the more the perspective changes. So I'm going to give myself a little frowny face, maybe half a half a centimeter, three quarters of a centimeter down. And then I'm going to draw lines coming down off there, and they flute out on the side at the bottom. And then I'm just going to give myself a wiggly line going across. And then I'm going to give myself a line coming down on either side. And again, I'm just sketching. I'm not committing to a solid line. I'm feeling my way down. Do I need to make it bigger or narrower as I go? And then I'm going to give myself a little smiley face at the bottom. And then I'm going to go around the whole bottom here with a giant smiley face. Okay, so you can speed up or pause the video anywhere you like. Now I'm going to give, we've done the frowny face, so I'm going to do the happy face in the back here but it's behind this piece, so it's gonna stop right here. And it's gonna continue. If I were to draw right through, it would come out on this side. So there is the basic shape of, a, of this type of mushroom. And I don't know, a toadstool maybe? I'm not very good with mushroom names. Uh, so now we need to start putting in some texture. We've built a little bit of form here, but we wanna give it its mushroom texture, which is kind of the funnest part of a mushroom, the shapes and textures they have. So for this one, I'm going to do, I'm just going to squiggle it in. I'm going to slowly break up this, this perfect line here. I don't want it, I want the texture to wrap around the mushroom. So I'm going to soften that line. I'm going to make this line a little bumpy on the top too. So the one thing that a lot of people do when they sketch is they make things uh, very much a pattern. Uh, it's kind of uh, you know, you're trained as a kid to draw a tree a certain way, and it's kind of symbolic. You know, your typical tree, sorry I'm going off the rails here, but you know, you're taught to, to do a tree like this. Well, trees don't really look like that. And what that does is it teaches you how to draw symmetrically. And so as soon as you start doing that in drawings, they start looking very unnatural. Because there's very few things in nature that are symmetrical or or patterned 
I shouldn't say symmetrical, but patterned. Um, when they have a perfect pattern to them, uh, it's rare and it stands out actually. Everybody takes a picture of it. So if things are starting to make too much of a pattern, if it's too perfect, then it's not going to look so natural. And that's why we keep our sketches nice and loose. I'm still holding my pen way back here. So I've given myself um, the texture of the top of the mushroom, and now I want to give it its gills. So the gills, we want to pull in the direction that they grow. So you'll see I'm coming around to the center. They go straight, and as they go out this side, they go further and further, and then they start curving right away from you. And this is like, kind of like a contour line. You want to capture that form by putting the gills and the lines in the proper direction in which they grow. And that you want to apply to just about anything you draw. Hair, fur, feathers, anything. You want to really pay attention to the direction they draw, they grow in, they draw in. So now we're going to put the texture in the stem. So I just like to pull lines down and then I'll pull it down again. Nice and loose. And then I'll put a little bit of this texture at the bottom here. And I want to make the the bottom a little bit darker so that it grounds the mushroom on the, pa on the paper. Now, if you have an actual mushroom in front of you to draw, that's even better. But I don't have any right now. I'm going to darken up right in here. And I'm going to pull the darker lines up the stem. Because I want to visually separate this stem growing into this base. So I'm just going to darken it a little bit right along here. And what's nice about these quickie sketches is you can use them over again, over and over again. You can use them in, uh, you can photocopy your sketches, scan them. And uh, once you've drawn one that you really love, you can use it over and over again. And I also have some videos on stamping, uh, on how to create your own stamps with lino uh, sheets so you can carve this out even. How much fun would that be? I love doing that. So I'm gonna go up to where we created those little ridges and I'm just gonna reinforce the darker up here just to, again, visually separate the two sections. I'm going to do that in here with the gills. I'm going to put a little bit more darker gills at the beginning where they're more condensed. And again, it will separate this stem from the gills. And remembering to constantly draw in the direction that they are growing in. That's very important. Now, I'm keeping my paper still, so I'm contorting my wrist a bit. But you would move your paper, so it's much easier for you to grab those angles. So there's our first little mushroom. And you can add color to this, you can ink it up, whatever you like. So in these ones, I just put a little indication of grass and stuff, just to help ground it a little more. So there's that one. So let's do another one. So we'll do, um, let's do this guy. And again, you can fast forward, or you can slow me down, you can pause it and catch up, whatever you like to do. So we're going to start in the same spot. We're going to start with this line here. So here I go across and again, I want it bumpy. And then I'm going to go up just a real subtle bump like that and then back down. And I'm going to just extend this a little bit. So as I, I go up on this end, let's do that. So if you're drawing across at the end, go up a little bit. And then I attach this guy going over. And then I'm going to touch, and then I'm going to draw this part here. So this comes down on the side, this comes down on the side, and this gets a wiggly line as well. So the one thing I want to pay attention to is the width here. So the width is the same all the way across. So if your line starts going up like this, it's going to distort the mushroom. You want to make sure that the line goes the same width all the way across. Okay. So now this perspective, this one we were looking, we were looking up. A little bit at the mush underneath the mushroom say we're like sitting right here looking up and we're very tiny obviously <laughs> this one we're looking straight on so we don't see where this connection hits the mushroom all we see is the side perspective of it so we want to find the middle of the mushroom 
which is about there. I just kind of visually draw a line through. And then I widen my stem. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come down a little bit and I'm going to give myself that wiggly little line there from the skin. And then another stem coming out underneath that. So here's my center line. I know how wide to make it on either side to keep the mushroom centered. I'm going to come down and out on this side. And I'm going to come down and around on this side. Just make sure I'm still in frame here. And then I'm going to draw the bulb here. And there's our little shape of a mushroom. And now we get to give it some detail. So this is where you can change mediums. You can use paint, markers, whatever you want. But we're going to stick with sketching. And again, I'm still, still not getting into super fine detail. I'm holding my pen back here. I'm going to start giving it that rough mushroom texture, scribbling away. My pen is all over the place. I stay within that shape and I just give it a little bit of texture, a little bit of scribble, again with my technical terms. <laughs> all right, so now the gills on this one are on the outside and they wrap underneath. So we're going to do some gills. So now I'm going to hold my pencil pen a little bit closer because I want to be able to control the length of the line a bit more. So I'm just going to pull straight down. I'm going to turn myself sideways here, sorry, and go this way. It's a little bit easier on my wrist. And you can do this a lot slower than I'm doing it. So where the mushroom goes up like this, I want to darken that in there with a couple of extra lines. And where it comes out, I'm going to leave lighter. So the, the mushroom, if you think of it in three-dimensional terms, is it's growing in here and it's growing towards us. It's growing back in and then it kind of gro grows in a little bit here. So if you darken that, it indicates that the it's in a little bit of shading there. So it's not, it's not as bright on the piece that's facing right out. It's just a little, just a little something to give it a little bit more form. There we go. And so you can see I took, a, the sketches will be different because I'm sketching faster and I'm talking than when I'm just sitting by myself and concentrating. So the looks will be different. And I think I did use even finer liner for these ones. Um, so you can see the difference. I think I used, where is it? A point, It's it died on me. Otherwise I would have used it again. I can't remember what I used, a point one, I think. So it's a very, very, very fine liner. And uh, I don't know where I put it. I think I might have thrown it out. Um, but it died on me, so I couldn't do, I couldn't sketch anymore. So you can see the difference in the pen as well, uh, what it will, what it will create. So I'm going to go down and create those textures again. Just by adding some lines in. And then down here, it kind of has that funky texture like it does at the top. So I'm going to put that down here. I'm just scribbling I'm back at holding my pen further back, nice and relaxed. You scribble away. You can do this while you're watching TV or in bed, relaxing. So again, I want to I want to separate these two, these three, I should say. So I'm going to put a little bit of a line under here. And I'm going to darken a little bit under here. And that's that. That's that one. And you can tidy up your lines. You can make this kind of wiggly because, again, they're gills. So they would have a texture here, not a straight line. And give it a little bit of grass. And there you go. There's that one. So let's do another one. I think we'll do them all. I hope that's okay. And again, you can fast forward or slow down, whatever you like. And uh, here's another one. So this one's kind of fun to draw because we have to create this dip in the middle here. So how do we approach this one? That's simplified. Okay, so we're going to start with this line here. So I'm going to, it's kind of a a happy face but it's a little distorted so I'm going to curve around I'm going to give it a little bit of a tear here I'm going to wiggle my pen another tear another tear and then end 
So just there's a subtle smiley face there with a little bit of tears in there. And it, you don't have to do the tears, but I find these mushrooms have a lot of tears. So I'm now going to curve this line back, swoop it down, and attach it. And we can adjust these lines after if we want. If we feel like this needs to be higher or this needs to be lower. Again, that's the beauty of sketching. So we have this kind of weird looking mustache shape. I might even pull this out a little bit sharper on the end here, as opposed to such a round, round piece. So now this here is going to dip down like that. So I have my background line and I have my line in the front, which is, which is the hole of the mushroom. There's the little dip. That's the hole, the flute of this mushroom. So now we're going to draw the, the actual channel of the mushroom. I'm sure this all has technical names to these mushroom parts, but we're going a little bit more simplified. So I'm going to pull this line kind of on an angle towards the middle. And if you want, you can draw your middle so you know. So just imaginary line going down and then draw a line. So you know that that's the center of your mushroom. And I'm going to grab another line on this side. So bearing in mind that you leave some edges here. So this part grows over top of the flute of this hole. So this hole would actually continue over here as well, but the part of the mushroom's grown up in front of it, so you can't see that part of the hole. All right, so that's the little channel, and then it gets a stem. So again, finding the center. And then this guy grows right into the ground like that. So now we get to give it its detail. So I'm going to give it its gilly surface here. Though I don't, I think, I'm not sure, I think the gills are underneath the feathery part on this one. But I do want to give this some texture. Is this a chanterelle mushroom? I wish I knew my mushrooms. I'm just going to squiggle just like we did in the others, go up to that line. And again, the finer the liner, the finer the detail, the more time consuming, of course. And then give it its texture down here. And we'll put some darker texture in here so it's grounded. We'll do the little grass all the way down here. We'll squiggle. And then we will clean this up here. I just want to clean this line up a little bit. And then in here we'll clean this line. Just so we can visually see the difference between the top and underneath. So you want to take your time and clean up any squiggly lines that went past that line. So like this line right here, I don't know how close I am, but this line right here, we want to clean it up. So I'm going to include it into the bottom. Okay, so now we want to create the texture on the surface of the mushroom. So again, we have to pay attention to how it grows. So it's going to, this wraps out and grows towards us. So straight, by the time you get to the middle, your line should be pretty straight. And then they start curving out. I'm going to have to rotate this one, sorry. Curving out away from you. In the center, they're growing away from you. So they grow this way. And now I wanna really reinforce that hole in there. So I'm gonna go nice and dark in here. I'm gonna start with a straight line and then I'm gonna start pushing it out the way that those, the mushroom grows. So I'm not gonna go straight across all the way. I wanna make sure that I capture that form by scribbling those lines in the direction that they grow. We can make this hole a little deeper if we want. And there we go. So we've created the same 
shape. And you can put more texture in it if you want. And darken in here. I'm just going to thicken this up. I feel like it's not quite thick enough to hold the weight of that mushroom. I drew this a little bit bigger than we did this one. There you go. There's that one. All right, we'll do another one. <laughs> hope you're still with me. I hope you like it and subscribe to the channel as well and hit the like button. That really helps my channel. And I appreciate any support like that. Okay, so now we're going to do this guy. So we will, again, our perspective has changed. We're looking a little bit underneath it as opposed to straight onto it. And that's really fun as well because you can take the same mushroom and draw it in several different perspectives. So you can get a lot out of one mushroom. We're going to start with this dome shape. So we're going to go up and over. And then we're going to go, uh, what's the best way to do this? I think what we'll do is we'll go under, but we'll stop where we think our center line is. So here I think our center line is. This is how wide I'm going to make my mushroom. So I'm going to bring those lines to that. And now I'm going to do the inside curve. So depending how long I make the stem, we'll adjust again the perspective in which I'm looking at it. So I'm going to go about a half centimeter up and I'm just going to give myself the top end of my stem like that. So this piece right here. And then I'm going to give myself my curve. So I don't want to attach it to this line because it has this white piece that goes around. So I'm just going to curve it into this line here and back out to this side. So now we have our mushroom head. And now we're going to do our stem. So our stem goes down and then there's a stem that goes across. There's not a stem, but kind of like this growth that goes across. So I'm going to bring my stem line to there. And then I'm going to put the, the center piece of the part of that growth that's growing towards me in front of the stem. So another little line here. And then I can continue my stem now because everything else is growing behind it. So I'm just going to give a little bit of character by curving it. And then I can finish off the back. So this piece of growth wraps right around like that. So in front and behind. And darken that if you like so you can see it a little better so there you go okay so oops so now I'm just going to finish off the bottom here and do some grass and put our texture in same thing just straight up and down going over it so it's not perfect lines and darken this up a little bit and then we'll do this part of the stem and we'll do a little bit of texture in here and now we'll do inside the mushroom here so i want to create a little bit of ridges here and then the outer edge of the mushroom so that when I do the gills which are we've done before so they're gonna remember they grow away from us behind the stem and then we can't see them growing towards us because curving towards us because of the perspective we chose so we only see the back end of the mushroom underneath and now I'm going to give it just a thin line right here because I want to keep this edge white and now I'm going to start doing the top end of the mushroom so it curves straight 
in the middle and starts curving out the edge here. So you can see the difference when you do a contour line like this where you're following the shape and, and form in which something grows to just a simple straight up and down line it makes the image very flat. So now I'm just going to finish off those curves. I'm going to darken underneath here because I want it to show that it really wraps around. So I'm going to tighten the curve here and darken it right where that white line is. Really curve it in underneath. And every time I darken, I'm paying attention to my contour lines. Where do they sit? I'm going to go underneath the stem here and darken. So you can see when you start playing with the shades and the uh, textures, how easy it is that things can get lost. So you want to pull, you want to pull certain, you want to make things darker, I guess, in sections so that it separates all the elements, all the bits and pieces. It doesn't necessarily mean it is darker there, but visually we need to show all these stems and all the caps and all that stuff and visually give them their individual shape so that it looks like an actual mushroom. Because details can get lost. So there's that one. Much darker because again I'm using a fatter tip than I did with these. Still a, still a cute little mushroom. Maybe clean this up a little bit here. All right, one more to go. And this guy, and this guy's fun because we're right underneath them. So we don't even see the top of the mushroom. So you can see, I think it's one of these guys, but a different perspective. So this is the side perspective, this is underneath. So again, a lot of fun, just changing perspectives. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little frowny face, which is the top of the stem, and we're gonna pull it all the way down. And I like, sometimes I like to give my mushrooms a little character by kind of warping their stem a little bit. This guy's more straight. This guy I'm going to warp a little bit. And then I'm going to give him the bulb at the bottom. And now I get to give him this fun, fun feathery top. So I'm going to start up here and I'm just going to wiggle my way around. Stop at the stem pick up on the other side and there we go it's funky shape so in this one the the part of the top of the mushroom curls down so we'll do that by giving it a line i'm going to do it over here as well if we want so in this case i'm going to draw a line across because i've already got the swoop i'm going to go straight across so now this these gills grow out and all the way around nice and loose just repeating the the lines and not worried about them being perfectly spaced what I'm what I want to concentrate on is the direction in which to draw them and then down here a little again away from us and then starts coming back towards us. Okay, so now I've captured, pretty much captured the shape of it. Now I wanna put some detail in it. So I wanna darken certain areas. So maybe this, this part of the mushroom rolls, grows out like this. So there's a little bit of shadow back here in the gills. So I put some more lines in there. And same here, maybe this part of the mushroom grows out like this. So I want to put a few more in here. So you can get to play with things like this and really develop your skills of observation and, and then control over your pen. 
you know, stopping your lines where you want your lines to stop. Um, again, rotate the paper. Don't try and contort your wrist too much. I'm trying to keep it straight for you guys so it's a little bit easier to follow along. But right here, I would definitely, sorry, rotate it just so I can get the lines I'm looking for. All right. So now we've got this roll here. I would probably darken up just a little bit more underneath it and then give it a little bit of texture. Not too much or it will get lost. Just to indicate that something's going on there. So even when I go outside the lines, I don't worry about it. I don't stress about it. I just redraw the line. And again, don't forget to breathe and have your tea. Relax. Have fun with it. That's the most important part is really just having fun and developing your skills. So if you don't get it the first time, it's okay. Um, it's just practice. I mean, I've been drawing for years and just suddenly decide to draw mushrooms one day and or anything for that matter and be able to do it. It took me a long time. And now I like sharing those those uh, skills and stuff with others. And that's why I do these little videos. And hopefully give you the courage just to pick up the pen and go for it. Not look at it going, oh, my mushrooms would never look like that. Well, they will eventually if you're not a drawer. But they will if you just practice like anything. Because I get a lot of comments saying, you know, I well, I get both comments. I get comments saying, oh, my stuff doesn't look like yours. Or, oh, I picked up a pen today and I actually drew a mushroom. I'm really proud of myself. So those are those, both comments are welcome, of course. I mean, any comment is welcome, but it's there's nothing more satisfying than hearing someone say that they they just gave it a go, whether it was successful or not. Just even just trying it was, it just makes me really happy. So here is our collection of mushrooms that we did today. I really like them. I think they're really fun. And uh, seriously, like how much fun are these to just doodle? And what? how long was that video? Like 30 minutes and we did five sketches. So there is a, a, an idea for you guys to give it a go. I hope you do. I hope you have fun. I hope you use up some scraps. You can stain these with some ink and make them vintage like this. Um, you can do whatever you want. Uh, lots of fun. So I hope you enjoyed today's little tutorial. Um, give me a thumbs up and please um, subscribe and, and uh, help my channel grow. I would really appreciate it. And other than that, have a great day, guys. Bye.